Hello everyone, I'm here to present to you the solution for uh, this topic, thyristors, silicon control rectifier application, and sample problems. Problem number one. Determine IG, the gate current, and IA, the anode current, when switch one is momentarily closed. Assume that the diode voltage VAK is equal to 0.8 volt and uh, VGK, the gate to cathode voltage of the diode is equal to 0.7 volt and the holding current IH is equal to 20 milliampere. What is the state of the SCR if VA is reduced to 12 volts and why? And here is the equivalent circuit. Okay, let's proceed with the solution. So first, let's check the current being identified or being determined. Let's check first the, the first loop and apply KVL. So by using KVL at this first loop, we will consider the voltage trigger or V-trig the voltage across the resistor RG and the voltage across GK or VGK. And using this loop, we will be able to determine IG or the gate current and considering that switch 1 is momentarily closed or short circuit, IG will be the equivalent current uh, on loop 1. So therefore, by using the voltage across RG, we will be able to determine IG. So the equation here is V3 is equal to V across RG plus VGK. And since we are concerned about IG, VRG is equal to IGRG. And if we will check and uh, have the equivalent equation, we will derive it at IG is equals to V3 minus VGK all over RG. Okay, uh, reviewing back, if we will get RG back and multiply to IG, that is voltage across RG. And this V trigger minus VGK is the other equation for the other side of the loop using KVL. So by using the equivalent values from the given, we will be able to substitute the voltage equal is 3 volts, VGK is 0.7 volts, and the value of RG is 560 ohms. We will be able to solve for IG and the final answer is 4.1 milliamps. Now, if we want to get the other current IA, we must take consider the other side of the circuit loop. So, we will consider loop 2. So, loop 2 consists of the voltage supply across the anode VA of 24 volts, the voltage across the resistor RA, which will be computed based on the IA, anode current, times the resistance of 1 kilo ohm. Uh, please take note that switch 2 will be stayed as open and therefore we will just ignore this additional part of the circuit. And another contributor of the loop is the voltage across the diode VAK up to the cathode. So creating an equation using KVL that will be equal to VA is equals to V across RA plus VAK. And if we will derive IA, this will be the equivalent equation. So again, substituting the equivalent values or the given, we will be able to compute for the final answer IA is equal to 23.2 milliamps. Okay, for the follow up question. If the voltage across anode VA is reduced to 12 volts, what will happen? Uh, we will just use the same equation for IA. 
and substitute the given with the new VA of 12 volts. The IA will now become lower, which is 11.2 milliamps. And with this, since the given holding current is at 20 milliamps, and the computed new anode current is now 11.2 milliamps, which is less than the holding current specification of this SCR, therefore, the SCR will be in the off state and it will not conduct further. So this is the answer for problem number one. Okay, for problem number two, sketch the voltage waveform across the SCR in relation to IL for 180 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees conduction. Assume an ideal SCR. What is the voltage across the SCR if it is never triggered? So, an ideal SCR means that when this SCR is turned on, the voltage drop across it would be zero. So, considering that, here is the solution. When there is load current, the SCR is conducting and the voltage across it is ideally zero. While when there is no load current, the voltage across the SCR is the same as the applied voltage. So here is the equivalent waveform. If we want to have a conduction of 180 degrees, the SCR should be triggered right away at any voltage from zero and above on the positive side. So since it will be gonna be triggered at a lowest voltage of zero, there will be a load current which will increase as the voltage supply is increased. At the negative part of the voltage supply, the SCR will be turned off. Now if you want to have a conduction at 45 degrees so you we will need to apply uh, a trigger voltage before the SCR turns on so that means uh, it will be turned on at 45 degrees when the supply reach this uh, portion the voltage across this, the SCR will be triggered and will cause it to be zero when turned on and when turned on, there will be a load current that is computed as equivalent of the remaining voltage supplied. Then at 90 degrees, so we need to get the voltage supply to the maximum level in order to trigger the SCR for the VAK. So once the SCR reached this portion, it will now be turned on and will have zero voltage drop and it will have an equivalent load current and again on the negative side the SCR is turned off so with this the maximum uh, trigger that can be applied on SCR is at 90 degrees and the minimum will be at zero and these are the equivalent angles Now there's a follow-up question here. What is the voltage across the SCR if it is never triggered? This means that the SCR never turned on. It stayed at the off condition. So the solution, when the voltage across the SCR is equal to the supplied voltage, VAK equals to the voltage supply, the SCR never triggered. Or that means that the turn on voltage of the SCR was not exceeded. So the supply voltage is too small, causing it to always become equal with the equivalent voltage drop across the anode to cathode of the SCR. Okay, so that's all. Thank you.